the Quran on the cerebrum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the Quran about one of the evil unbelievers who forbade the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from praying at the Kaaba. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Kalla la illa miyan bin No, if he does not stop, we will take him by the Nasiya, a lying sinful Nasiya. Why did the Quran describe the front of the head as being lying and sinful? Why didn't the Quran say that the person was just lying and sinful? What is the relationship between the front of the head and lying and sinfulness? If we look into the skull at the front of the head, we will find the prefrontal area of the cerebrum. What does physiology tell us about the function of this area? A book entitled Essentials of Anatomy and Physiology says about this area. The motivation and the foresight to plan and initiate movements occur in the anterior portion of the frontal lobes, the prefrontal area. This is a region of association cortex. Also the book says in relation to its involvement in motivation, the prefrontal area is also thought to be the functional center for aggression. So, this area of the cerebrum is responsible for planning, motivating and initiating good and sinful behavior and is responsible for the telling of lies and the speaking of truth. Thus, it is proper to describe the front of the head as lying and sinful when someone lies or commits a sin, as the Quran has said, a lying sinful nasiya. Scientists have only just discovered these functions of the prefrontal area in the last 60 years, according to Professor Keith Elmore. How can a man living 1400 years ago in desert know this? And why would he mention this? Where did this knowledge come from? Was he a scientist? Did he just guess? How could an illiterate man who was a shepherd come up with a book in a society where 95% of the people were illiterate? Historians to this day can't explain how desert dwellers defeated the biggest empires of the time like the Romans and the Persians. How come this man is still followed to this day by billions? How come a book he brought is memorized by millions by heart?